Neurovascular wise. Okay. I would always, always make sure that you say you ask your orientation questions directly, even if they feel completely oriented, really got to ask those questions. What is, go what is this? What is this? Y'all, what is happening? <sighs> um, but making sure that you're asking those questions and they're answering them directly. Hey, you know, entertain me here, you know, humor me, answer these questions. Um, I would always, always check pupils. I would, all, when, while you're checking for pupils, um, right after that, I would check um, for extraocular movements, meaning like, hey, you know, okay, look at me, you know, okay, now what I want you to do is follow my fingers with just your eyes and, you know, maybe make a cross or make a circle and make sure their eyes go all the way around and watch for nystagmus. Um, that's important to make sure that the visual fields are not changing, um, which can be a sign of stroke. Um, you also, with your neuro, <coughs> neuro floor patient, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. With your neuro, neuro floor patient, uh, level of consciousness is really important too because that's the er, one of the earliest signs of increased um, ICP. So you want to make sure, okay, wait, is this patient more and more difficult to wake up? So really with that first assessment, really pay attention to the level of stimuli required to get this patient to interact with you. Do you need to, hey, Mr. Smith, wake him up, wake him up? Or will, do they walk in, when you walk in, do they perk up and they talk? Do they fall asleep during assessments? Um, you know, if that's their baseline, okay. But let's pay attention if that's getting worse. Um, and, and we want to make sure and, and notice the level of consciousness. And, as, and when you're working with neuro patients, also your observations are really important. So observe them when they're talking with their family, when they're eating their meal. Are they eating all of their plate or just half their plate? Because they can't see their other half. Or are they using both their arms? Um, do they even know that they have a left arm? Do they forget? Do they even pay attention to the fact that there's an arm over there? Because that can happen too. Are their emotions really labile? Are they laughing like crazy and then crying? Paying attention to those kinds of things. With my vascular patients, um, a couple of things, you know, with those really want to pay attention to their skin. If they have leg pain, please, dear God, let us know. We want to make sure, hey, do we have a DVT? You may need to Doppler pulses with vascular patients. Um, and these are the patients where if we've got sudden shortness of breath, if we've got all of a sudden we've got an O2 sat that's like 88, 85, and they were 99, and their little, their respiratory rate's going up, ooh, we're gonna be paying close attention for PEs. Um, those happen more often on vascular floors, naturally. So, you know, paying attention for those kinds of things. So, hope that helps. I have a neuro course that walks through all this stuff in much greater detail. It's called NeuroWise, it's in my profile. Um, and then I have a cardiovascular course, cardiac crash course too.